We know that drones are becoming very popular, they use more widespread, and they could be used for all sorts of things in the future. So at BTO, we're interested in the extent to which drones might have disturbance effects on wild birds, and also whether drones could be used as a tool to help gather data on populations. Lots of people ask us about this, and it's really important that any advice or guidance that we offer is informed by robust impartial science. In this piece of work, we looked specifically at wintering water birds like ducks, geese and waders. We have really large populations here, and we already know from other research that disturbance in winter can have negative impacts on populations. We wanted to see if there were particular habitats, groups of species or situations which might affect how, how birds responded to drones. We flew a commercially available drone towards flocks in three distinct habitats coastal sites, inland locks, and arable stubble fields. We flew it slowly towards flocks at 30 metres elevation and recorded responses. We found that larger flocks were more likely to flush and also that they responded to the drone at a greater distance. Responses also varied a lot by habitat. In the arable fields, birds were most likely to flush and in this habitat, the escape flights involved frequent changes of direction as if the birds were being pursued by an aerial predator. At the coastal sites, more than half of approaches elicited responses, while at the inland lock sites, there were very few responses. What's likely going on here is that these responses are influenced by pre-existing conditions at the site, like how much of other forms of disturbance there are and what the threat of predation is at the site because these factors determine how vigilant birds need to be and also whether species that are very sensitive to disturbance are using a site. We didn't find an effect of species on the likelihood of response, although most of the flocks we approached were mixed species flocks, so it's going to be quite difficult to tease out an effect like this. In conclusion, it looks like off-the-shelf drones are unlikely to be an effective aid for the monitoring of non-breeding water birds at the moment, but technology changes all the time so this may be different in the future. At coastal and arable sites, where large numbers of non-breeding water birds congregate, it may be advisable for site managers to restrict or discourage drone use to limit potential disturbance. We do also need longer term studies to gain a better understanding of how birds might habituate to this form of disturbance over time.